Yeah. We already got four thumbs down because of that stupid picture. <laughs> <laughs> Ruff, Ruff, remember the good old days? When I remember the good old days when only three people would watch us on a Saturday afternoon. I was remember? one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Where was all of our fans back then? I'm telling you. It's taken us years to get up to where we have finally uh, at least 10 people that come and watch. So yeah. that is awesome. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, Richard, how you doing? Hey, everybody. Peter, good to see you. Technical difficulties. Yeah, always. He thought our, oh. our, free, our, our screen froze up, I guess. Kyle, how you doing? Philip Reynolds, how you doing? Good to see you. Fred? Mm. Fred? Always Fred got Ron, the James Fred, in. Ron, Ron, yeah. David Whitehouse, our tail gunner, doing hey, a great Mike job. Cellie. Oh, we got some designers in the in the house. Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. But, <coughs> butter, butter jelly and Lootman are and here. Lutman, they're both in. Watch out! Oh, yeah, they had snow in Tennessee today. No, and I have nothing out here. I'm I am literally eight hours north of where Herman is, and it's sunny. It's cold. But there's no snow, and I'm eight hours north of where he lives. That well, does went, not. If, well, the thing is, if you went eight hours north of where I live, you'd be in the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean. All right, so, so give me yes, that. Yes, Ralph. We know you, you live on the thumbtack. Okay, we, we do. <laughs> Dave, how you doing? Dave, there? Hi, Dave. Yeah. William. Yeah. Hello, Jay. Yeah. Uh, hello, Jay. Tim, our Tim, Walker yeah. Gunner, right there. Tim Zales yeah. also doing an awesome job. RGL. Thanks for playing on? the Tigers. I wish you would actually get them to win instead of lose every time he puts them on his channel. I swear That's that inside pitch, I don't know about that. I think it's anti Tigers. Yeah. Yeah. He, well, it's because he loves the Yankees. He always plays the Yankees. So, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Stu's here. Stu from Tactics. It's yeah, been nice how's, how's the dice tower working for you, Tony? Is it oh, I, if if I could actually play, it's working great. But if I could actually play, I'd get more use out of it. It's been a rough week this week uh, with the remodel. Basically, we've had people all over the house. And anytime I get to record, there's banging and hammering and sawing going on this last week. So, But we're only about two to three weeks out. And it should be a lot quieter over the next couple of weeks. So we're getting... We're getting there. Oh, right. good. It's good so. to hear. Good and to I'll hear. Fly over, I'll fly over and you can cook me dinner. And you, need to you got dinner. it. <laughs> always, you're always welcome, especially after the nice serenade you gave Karen on Saturday. Oh, that's what so She favorite. very much so loved about it and talked about it, and oh, it brilliant. was good. So you, thank you so much. I appreciate no, that. Welcome. You made you no, made her welcome. day. She's like, I had an English guy serenade to me. Uh, <laughs> we had a great dinner afterwards, and so yeah, it was all it was all good. So thank you so much, Ruff, for for that. No, you're welcome. Did, yeah, did you buy your wife a really good war game for her birthday? I. We bought chairs and a table for oh. the kitchen. <laughs> no, and I got her good. some spa stuff too. So we got her some spa stuff so she can relax. Hey, Harold's hey. here. Oh, yeah. Uh. So, but I did. And the funny thing is, is I've got boxes and I was talking before we got on. I have got boxes and boxes of stuff to do videos on. And really I just can't right <clears throat> now. So I'm not, I haven't even opened. Uh, so I got my P500 box. And I got charged for my next one. I haven't even opened the P500 box from UPS. It's still sitting in its brown box. Which one have you been charged for? Uh, the U.S. Civil War. Oh, you've got that one. Have you yeah, right? I didn't yeah, that yeah, one. Right. Yeah. I want to play around with it because I have a few, few ideas that I don't think you can actually play a full Civil War like legitimately because we're not as stupid as some of the generals were i don't know i've yet to see that game go a full four years right. it always is only a one or two year thing so because i want to play around it. with it yeah and see, you, have see. Play, you have to play get inside the head of the general and just play like he would you know yeah like yeah so basically don't do anything for the first two and a half years yeah. um <laughs> wait, wait until you know maybe, yeah wait until lincoln turns up and say what the heck you doing that sort of thing and uh Get the, fired uh, a couple times. Yeah. yeah. I think also think that there's more, um, I almost said Soviets, because 
what I'm playing, but uh, that there's more Confederates than there actually are because McClellan always thought there were about twice as many than there actually were. So yeah, I've got some I've got some interesting uh, ideas with that, and I heard the gameplay is pretty good. So uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see the only reason I, t- I didn't get that is because it's um, wasn't very solo friendly, but but it's cards and things, isn't it? It's not really. I mean, it's like, do you play this card to help out or yeah. this card to help out? So, yeah. But, but, but the other so. thing is, it's like having too many bulge games or too many uh, end games. I've I've decided, until I play another one, and I haven't decided, to be a uh, great battles of the American Civil War fan. So, um, yeah, we'll keep with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the the thing I I almost had to laugh because Jester you had that picture up and I was like Ruff's bookshelves look horrible in that picture. I picture. know. Did you no, notice I, it? Don't put, no, don't. Oh, cracky! Look at that. That look is. That. You have that books is sideways. And oh, like, yeah. I know. That's when the games was just starting to come in, and I had to sort of start putting books wherever they sort of fitted, and and of course you don't. Look at it. You don't see it until somebody else goes, "Oi, rough. That's di- that's a disgrace." That so, is uh, look, at now. look at it now. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Now let's compare. Oh my. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but yeah, no. If it's it's, I oh I I have been playing a little bit this week. I haven't been able to record, but I've played America Bomber. I've got two mm. missions in. Mm. Uh, my first mission went really well. I ended up getting, what was it? 90% destruction, but I'm kind of missing the, the, it's like, like with U boat, there's that tension there. There's no, there's no tension in America bomber. Oh, so, I mean, I'm just like, like half of them, like half the planes don't work on half the zones because it's the same idea as target for today. You have the zones you go out. Like half of the uh, fighters don't count because they're not aircraft carrier based. And then when you're on land, the aircraft carrier based ones don't count. So I'm missing. I'm going to play it a little bit longer, but I'm missing that 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 tension. You know, like with U boat. You know, yes, I got this boat, but now am I going to survive? It's like there's always that. Once you attack, am I going to survive this one? Mm-hmm. I just, I'm not seeing that oh, with right. this one. So, <clears throat> so. yeah, if you get that with Target for today, and um, maybe with the other one, you know, Interceptor Race and Night Fighter Race, maybe they're a bit more sort of edge of seat thing because they're after you, aren't they? And they mm-hmm. are. After you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm going to play around with it a little bit longer to see, but so far I've been like, eh, it's something to kill the time. Since I don't have oh, much, well, I'm, you know. I'm glad. I'm, uh, thank you for your honest thing. Because again, that was on. You know, do I get that? You know, and maybe, maybe I'll just save up and get maybe Night Fighter Ace or Interceptor. Ace yeah, or... those two look like those two <clears throat> really look good. Oh, like, Zeppelin. Zeppelin is the one I want to see because that and, one looks uh, pretty intense as well. Solo so. board, board gamer did that one and quite enjoyed it. Mm. We've got a visitor. No, I, I like the target for today's system. Hi, Hi. How you darling. They say hi. Hi. She's got a cold right now, so she's a little nasally speaking. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, shock horror, the boy, the son, has finally caught it. Has finally caught the coof. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's just saying his son got COVID too. You just have a cold because you already caught COVID. Yeah, no, he's had cold. No, he's this this the old thing testing, testing, testing. The the little testing thing? Yeah. (laughs) He's had the sore throat and everything. So the thing is, he's up there playing the bongos at the moment, so he's not that <laughs> ill, but he's, he can't go to school Monday because they're going to be off five days at this school. Yep. That's mm. really so, um, that's the way I'll it is go- now, by the way. It's five huh? days after testing positive, and then you wear a mask for five days, and then you're good to go. So. No, we don't wear masks anymore. We don't do all that in the malarkey over here. Oh, we're done with that, too. I've gotten yeah. a whole week without having to wear a mask, so I can actually <laughs> yell at the kids without having to yell at the kids. I'll try. I keep covering him because I'm trying to catch it. I can't catch it. <laughs> so I still have two. So we had it run through the house, and I don't want to get off, but off the topic. But um, yeah, I. And I uh, yeah. That's that's yes. Um, but three out of the five of us had it, and the other two must not are not going to get it. 
No, it looks like I'm not going to get it. I've got some stinking sort of cold. I think it's hay fever or whatever. My nose is in a right old state. It looks like I'm red. I've got to put some makeup on there. It's not because I'm <laughs> drinking. It's, it's really sore and blocked up. Yeah. So that's probably just hay fever. Yeah, Night Fighter Ace is one. I've watched people play that, and that looks really good because that tension is there. Yeah, and again, so. if these games aren't for you, it's the same old dice chucking looking yeah. up on tables. If that's not for you, it's not for you. But I love them. I love a bit of dice chucking. The ones I really like is what's on uh, Jester's list with the uh, Skies Above the Reich and stuff. Yeah. That's a good solo game where I think there's lots of choices. There is. You still have to roll on the charts, but there's also choices as well. It's like a good mix, I think. Yeah, and you get what that do you think, Jester? With, the card, with the card. What do you think, I'm Jester? Doing something. Sorry, what's that? No, no. I was saying that um, out of the solo games where you have to roll on a lot more charts, like um, um, the uh, Skies Above the Reich, you know, I know you've played a little bit with uh, Blue. But I like that one because, yeah, there's a lot of charts involved, but there's also a lot of decisions. It's kind of a good mix between the both, I think. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think um, when you're comparing it to, say, like Target for today, yeah. it's, it's, it's more of um, there's not a lot of choices you make. You know, you're rolling in the charts. <clears throat> you, you get your fighters they tell you the location they're coming in you can evade or not evade and then depending on how much damage you take you might have to drop down out of formation or whatever but it's not a lot of deep strategy mm -hmm. yeah that makes yeah. sense yeah but it does a good story yeah it, and that's what those games are they're like it, that they're that's they're narrative driven yeah and so I really liked, you know, uh, U boat, not U boat. I'm saying U boat. Silent hunters. Silent wow. hunters. Silent hunter. Hunters. The silent. Whatever. I cannot think right now. Jeez. The hunters. The You've, hunters. Been on that there you go. You've been on that Jameson since midday, haven't you? <sighs> no, I've been cleaning the house since midday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, right. Yeah. I've, I've I, don't believe him. I don't believe him. All yeah. right. Let's move on. Rough. Mm hmm. You got some stuff in this week, didn't you? I did. Also, also before I go into that, if I may, um, I didn't do a thing with Tweez this week because of all the stuff that's coming, and also I wanted to get some videos out, <clears throat> one of which was Warfighter, which, and I'm so pleased I've come back, you know, to, to that game. I've forgotten how much fun it was. Um, that was on your list, too, so now yeah, you're really beating me well. again. Yeah. Damn. Um, I know. Yeah, I, I did you. I, I don't know. I had to step away. Did you see my comment, Jester, when you were playing? I was like, you just can't let Rough leave. I know. Can I? I, I replied <laughs> back. Yeah, I replied back to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah. that's not why I did it. But no, no I, I know. know. But it's fun. it was just uh, funny that it was, it just, was funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, Warfighters, great fun. Um, and I'm playing a Pacific uh, uh, mission because again, there aren't that many of those on YouTube. It's a couple, but there aren't that many. And the Japanese. A uh, hostile deck is harder, I think, even with the front line, not the um, the elites. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the comments I got was saying, "Yeah, I do play the European. I don't really know why I want the the, the sort of Pacific one because it's sort of the same thing, but in a different part of the you know the theatre. But it is different. Different things happen. You've got the uh, the hot and the fever going on, and the Japanese hostiles are horrible." They're swines. So, um, yeah, that's what makes it different. So I'm enjoying that. I may well, <clears throat> if everything's okay with that, may well get back to the Panzer because I'm, I want it still set up here, gathering dust. There's me, Warfighter there. Um, so I can get on with other things because I had a lot of stuff turn up. Um, not war game related, I know. But, um, again, I think this was because of Jester doing it and some other people doing it. Elder Sign, great little fun game. I know it's not Warfighter, but it's uh, you know not a war game, not like Warfighter, but it's a great. I just like just like it. It's an easy. Is that the one that you can just throw in the main box? Is that the expansion that that, you don't is, like? that one goes with the base game? Okay, yeah, because the other ones you sup supplement out. Yeah, but, but I, that I, one I you actually combine. Okay, gives you, gives you more. Just gives you more. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, 
And the, the other ones I've got, they're like separate things. You use their own uh, adventure yeah. deck. They use, Which uh, I've got those two. I think I'm only missing <coughs> one. And, that, and every time I go... Put, that's the basic. everything, if you have all the expansions, you can put everything in the base box, and then you'll have one extra box. Mm. Okay. So that's what... Yeah. That's, you know, that's with everything, with all the expansions. And then, yeah, I've got, I'm missing one expansion, and every time I look for one, it's way overpriced. Which one's so, that? I can't one? remember. I'm getting the, um, the, the one that's set outside the museum, the Streets of Arkham, or whatever it's called. I've got Arkham. that one. Yeah. And then I have the Pharaoh one, I'm getting as well. I've got so you the have, Pharaoh uh, one. Unseen Forces. I've yeah. got that one. You have. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just meant just. But Look yeah. at you. Yeah, sure that's all sidetracked. Pharaoh, Omen of the Pharaohs. Got that, that one. one. Yeah. Omen it's of the, the Frozen one. The whatever the oh, Frozen one. I don't have that one. That's the one I don't have. That's the Wrong. one I showed you. Omens of Ice. Yeah, yeah, that one I don't have. Yeah, yeah that one I don't have. <clears throat> I so have Gates of Horcrum. Yeah. yeah. If you want to look, up, I've done an unboxing, but back to the P500s turned up as well. And I I, everything yeah. I've seen on that one, I'm looking forward to that because it's, it's smaller. Oh, oh my god, no. who's that? No. He let him in. He let him in. He's got grief. He's drinking as well. Stop it. Right. That's right. <coughs> what's going on, Cheers. boys? No, what's going on, buddy? We haven't seen you for a while. We wanted to have you in. Cheers to Mo. Everyone Cheers. say hello. Oh, I love it. I love it when people just drop it. It's wonderful. This game has a very small footprint, and I've got the mounted map in here as well. Wow. Nice. Oh, I like the small footprint. That's what I'm looking the for. The map is smaller as well. As you'll see, I'm doing an unboxing. It's slightly shorter. It's a deep, I think, 22 by 25 and a half. So it's a lovely small footprint with a counter sheet, and that's it. And it's Italy. It's something not a lot, of, you know, that it looks a little bit like uh, yeah, landing your forces and basically what you have to do is push the Germans out of the way and they're trying to stop you basically. There's no goes on forever sort of thing. It's just that uh, there's an eight day, uh, short eight day one and the full campaign. So that, looking forward to that. That's all clipped and done and everything and videoed. And then I got, uh, <laughs> what now? What now? Oh, Tim. He's like, stop that Mo guy. He's uh, pressuring Mo's pressuring people into buying you know games. I, I saw that Mo on your channel. I thought, bear, bear is it a game? What's this? Some fantasy thing. What's he doing? Fantasy games? Nope, nope. That's Roman Romans. Empire. No, it's not. Roman, it's Western Roman Empire. Yeah. Well, Romans called everybody that weren't Romans barbarians, didn't they? So exactly. called, you know. And then I got uh, into, into the, the woods. woods. Yeah. I know mm. that's not your thing, but it's down. There's bloody Stigler and um, Queens <laughs> got me into that. So I thought I might as well. I've got the Death Valley. I'll get this. got the updated rules in it, but it sits in the shrink rack, all shiny. I haven't had a chance to do it. And then, of course, we've got <coughs> the, the hernia inducing. Whoa, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Look at the size of that. I thing. saw somebody measure it. It's a four-inch box. It's a four-inch box, yeah. yeah. And even um, Mark Herman was saying, don't worry, this wasn't designed to play the, the whole blooming campaign. He designed Empire of the Sun for that, evidently. But this one, it's you, you play all the little battles. It's designed to play the battles and the, the other engagements. And most of them are on a little map. But you've got to have it, you've got to have it. And then... <clears throat> To finish it off, it was a great day. Wow, that was a credit card bill today. Wow. Yeah, but the, the 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 other thing they all turned up. The other thing, Legion Gains sent me that, uh, which was very nice of them. Nice. So um, nice. A solitaire game. Stuka Joe's done the sequence of play cards for them, so it's going to be good, isn't it? Oh, you, and evidently it looks like I looked at the rules, and when I did the unboxing, you're looking at the rules, and I'm going, oh, blah 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 blah. But basically, all they are is explanation of the cards. You put the cards down and turn them over <laughs> and off you go. There you go. So it looks really good. So that was it. That's my lot. I'm skint. And that means you're brassic mint. And that means you've got no money. I was going to say broke, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> Until the next you know, P500 uh, comes in, yeah. yeah. Did you get any of those, uh, the new what, releases from GMT, Mo? Yeah, I got uh, Vietnam and AGC, uh, Barbarossa. Those yeah. are my two oh, that okay. came in. Right. I got the Into the Woods, Salerno, and the Vietnam. So. And you, nice. you live in Texas, right, Mo? Yes, yeah. North Texas, just about. Now, when did you get your package? Uh, you don't mind me asking. He hasn't got his yet. All right, oh, that's fine. Well, I'm sorry, Thursday. I couldn't hear you. The British guy was talking. <laughs> got mine on Thursday. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just got an email that mine isn't going to be delivered till Wednesday. Did you see the update Mitch sent out? They're having trouble with USPS actually picking up their packages. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah Gene posted on CSW about that. <clears throat> they had uh, the postal service is just not sending trucks. They don't have, I guess they have like a staffing issue and UPS is sending trucks, but they're also sending smaller trucks too, I think. So uh, they're having some issues getting them out because I had they, requested them on USPS. Yeah, I did too. And I, I'm from now on, I'm going UPS until I know their yeah. USPS thing is fixed. Mm. So I wanted USPS because they deliver on Saturday. I mean, so you know, one extra day. I can wait a week, but it's just like, I don't know what GMT has against me. All I do for them, I mean, we promote them. We talk, last week was our top 10 or our top five GMT games. All we do is talk great about GMT, and then they don't send me my stuff for like a month. Well, well the, the problem is, is you don't know the difference between Algiers and Algeria. Yeah, They're yeah, holding and, that against you. And I the know, other thing is all the other all the other bad things you said, you know, against the other company. They're all they're all they all know each other. And the old expression "poo sticks," you know, what I mean, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You get yours, and they go. Get the forklift truck out of all the other orders, lift it up, put his one underneath, and put that back on top. That that will sort him out. Yeah, you'll get his. Hey Mo, you got any Maca- McAllen's behind you in that bar? Uh, probably do. Okay. Probably do in the back there. Yeah, I have to. I have to double check. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, bless him! Drinking, bless him. Thinks it's real. That's yeah, going to some... be real good when I go to the gym after the show today. Do have some legacy here, though. This well, is I'll take some good of that. stuff. There you go. Yep. There you go. Cheap, only twenty bucks a bottle, and it is uh, Canadian whiskey that's bottled by. Um, uh, damn it! It's when uh, brain dead. Uh, it'll come back to me, but it's, it's really good. 20 bucks a bottle and it tastes real, real tasty. She moved to Ireland. There you go. Yeah, I guess. It's not. That's why they have such fantastic butter and milk over there because it's always raining. The grass is always lush. So uh, you know. there's a Green. reason why they call it the Emerald Isle. Yeah. It's not Cause yeah. it's a desert. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's savvy. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. true. Staffing issues doesn't matter. I know, uh, even where I work, we usually, you know, have a little bit of turnaround and get somebody in like this, but we're like five people behind now, you know, where people have left and we haven't hired any replacements for them yet. Oh, because you can't get them or they you don't want to? Uh, just nobody's looking, right? Oh, well. Nobody's, um, weekend of the way I was just around the corner, I'll pick up maybe a copy of them at the con which you guys would attend well maybe we can arrange that maybe sometime that'd be fun do a war room show live from well, the warehouse well, once, i have a the- feeling if rough gets over here to the wbc i already told karen we're gonna go so well if there's no if it's if there's no limitations on travel there's no masks there's none of this none of that none of that i'll come yeah yeah, I think I did USPS. I think by I think summer they'll it. be they'll be gone. The mm-hmm. limitations with the masks and all that stuff because they they just extended it out another month, and I think that's going to go away. The big trouble with travel, I think, is going to be gas. Plane mm-hmm. tickets are going to go up in price. Mm-hmm. Well, the pro- Well, I'll tell you what, they shouldn't. Gas is set at five dollars a gallon for fuel for aviation fuel. And that's not going to adjust at all with everything going up because I guarantee oh, you gas I, is going to go way higher. I don't have that. <laughs> You see, because I always fill up with twenty pounds worth of with the petrol, so it doesn't affect me. <laughs> or just go to Taco Bell and you, you oh, get all the gas. It, you need. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Anyway. I know. I just filled up my tank. It was seventy bucks. I was like, "What the?" Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. 
Nice. That is very good. Black Barrel yeah, is very good. And it's good. not that, it's like $30, 35 no. yeah, yeah, it's not expensive. Yeah. Well, when I come over, if, if hopefully, hopefully all being well, one day when I come over, it's going to be, I'm going to have a bourbon. Um, yeah, Ruff's a big bourbon fan, so I'm, nice. I, I'll, I pass on the bourbon. But so. again, I'm not an expert because the only bourbons I know are the bourbons that you get over here. So um, I can drink bourbon without any problem. Scotch, I just can't drink. It just, I don't know why. It just, uh, I'm gone, you know. So um, <laughs> uh, the bourbon, yeah, lovely. So it'll be ni nice to uh, try try different bourbons. Oh, yeah, um, that's right. All those people across the pond, they call it petrol. So we got to make sure we're. Well, diesel and petrol, you know, we say, and you go, yeah. Just just one bit of ice in there just to release the, uh, and make it, chill it down, release the aromatics. Lovely. There you go. Mm. Which Maybe aromatics are you problem, talking about? Right? Bourbon or gas? <laughs> no. <laughs> when you say gas to a British person, they're talking about flatulence. Flatulence, yeah. Flatulence. yeah. Yeah. No, no, we, we call it petrol diesel, and we put our foot on the accelerator. Thank you very much, peeps. Mm -hmm. Not on the gas. Yeah. No, were you part of our top uh, our te um, 10 game challenge this year? No, no, I have not been part of any challenge that you yeah. have. Oh, well, he doesn't play that. games. He just opens them up for people, but he I doesn't open actually play. I open them up and send them, them up. He shows you what's in the box. <laughs> he talks about them for a little while. And then he puts them away on the shelf. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then ship them back, you know. No, actually, uh, I have not gotten uh, any challenge. Right now, we've got, <clears throat> I don't know if I was, I don't think I told you guys, but I think I mentioned we're going to be moving. So oh, we're actually, oh, yeah, no, we're moving to another that. town. We're not moving far, just, you know, uh. town over. So uh, that's why I'm kind of a mess right now because we're up in the attic pulling stuff down. And I was pulling down all the stuff. So now I got to go through all my old stuff and see what has value because I'm going to sell. Because I still have, believe it or not, I pulled down my AT AT from when I was a kid. I have a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff. Wow. I have the AT AT. I've got the Millennium Falcon. I've got the Hoth play set, all the stuff that I kept from when I was a kid. So oh, wow. that's some, if it's in good condition, that's money. some good money yeah. for sure. Okay. Yeah. But Fred, Fred reckons you're just a hand model model it now. Um, um, yes, yeah, I do this. <laughs> well, Mo, you do see my shirt, by the way. There you go. Nice. I love it. I love it. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Me yeah, and Darth were a part of we're part of the club. So nice. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah. So in the next one, we've got we've got a con here pretty soon in May. CSW Dallas. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. CSW in Dallas. Of, yeah, hmm. I'm still kind of recovering. I had bronchitis for a couple of weeks, so um, my yeah, voice I know you. Crappy. Did, um, I think the yeah, last... you still can get regular sick now. You, can, you don't. Yes. Oh, yeah, get, people yeah. Forget, people forget, yeah, I've got. I've done if it's hay fever. As I was just saying earlier, my nose just looked looked all red, yeah. like I'm a like, like I'm a lush. <laughs> Believe but, it or so, not, it's not the coof. <laughs> no, my, my son's got it. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got just got it, and I've been trying to cuddle him and get it. I can't get the bloody thing. Oh, he got he got the coof, and you're yeah. trying to get the coof. Oh, I'm trying okay. to get it, just so I can get it, but I can't get it. Well, so then you can't get it. Then you're probably safe. Yeah, I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you got maybe you got the immunities or something. Who knows? Yeah. Well, like I said, three out of the five of us had it here, and two of them have not had it, so I don't get it. Hmm. Yeah, it's called no. immunity. That's what it is. I've not gotten it, and I don't. Uh, you know, we were we worked from home for about I think five or six weeks, and then we were right back in the office, and I didn't miss a beat on anything. You know. And, now, Mo, uh, I've been I've been meaning to ask you. You you do hockey. You do like play by play hockey. Is that what it is? I do the color commentary. Oh, the color commentary. Yeah, okay. Occasionally, I'll do play by play, but it's rare okay. that I do play okay. by play. And which team do you do it for? Allen Americans in the ECHL. Okay. Okay. Sorry, yeah, because I, I was just curious because, like, you're like, I've got hockey. I'm like, I know you're not playing. I know. <laughs> not anymore. I know you're no. Not no, I'm retired. <laughs> Sorry. I, was that military code or whatever? I just didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> yeah. It's it's yeah, all military yeah. code. So yep. expect guys yep. bashing down your door in a minute. Good yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't bash. The NSA's, yeah. listen, the NSA's already <laughs> got us narrowed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so no, because I, I I just I because you're like you knew about the Toledo walleye, mm -hmm. and I'm like wow that's yeah 
Yeah, yeah. So the they're, but they're doing good. Year. Yeah, they're doing yeah, good. You this guys year, are doing so. good. My, our, our, we're not doing very good this year. We're struggling to get into the last playoff spot, but we did beat Tulsa last night. We're playing them again tonight, and you know they're trying to get into that fourth spot, but it's tough. I mean, yeah, we we had uh, we've had a couple you know tough years. I think this whole pandemic and all threw a lot of teams off. So mm-hmm. that kind of uh, you know the yeah, sad part about have- it is anything was that? last year did they, they didn't have anything no we year. had a modified year we started in december oh okay yeah that's right yeah because the thing about it is before the year that it hit the year before that we had our worst you know worst year ever we were tired, and we were at our best year like we were like number one yeah <laughs> and then when right before covid hit and we actually had to stop everything we were doing great yeah. we were like uh, wow, we're gonna have a real strong playoff uh, team and then boom, stop mm-hmm. no playing it's like the other, it. the other thing of course with with hockey you've got to make sure the weather's right isn't it because the grass is going to be in prime condition you can <laughs> exactly, know it, you know, exactly. Um, otherwise you can't shoot off, touchdowns yeah, yeah. <laughs> and kick three pointers <laughs> yeah do right. you travel at all with the team or do you just do like home games is it, is it mostly kind of- do home games i did okay. uh when we uh played one of the championship years i went and traveled with the team to wichita and that was that was a beating because we were it was game six went up to wichita which is like six and a half hour drive mm-hmm. we did the game we lost which forced a game seven and then we drove all the way back got in at like 4 30 in the morning and then we played that night at like oh. seven o'clock, so it was just a beating. I was like, "Man, these guys!" They, I'll tell you what, at this level, these guys take they take a beating. Yeah, those yeah. minor league—it's like minor league yeah. baseball. It's it's bad. Yeah, it's like you're not flying. You don't get the nice meals or the nice flight. You're on a mm-hmm. bus most yeah. of the way. Yeah. And the thing that yeah. people don't realize at this level is, yeah, they're young and you know they're in their twenties. Most of them, some of them in their thirties. But think about it: you play a game on a Friday night. At seven o'clock, you play a game at Saturday at seven o'clock, and then you play another game on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock in the afternoon. You're playing three games in less than 48 hours. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was the so the one game that I took me and the boys went to was the third game of that series, and they just mm-hmm. seemed off because they had played yeah. two games before. They just seemed like everything was like a second or two late. It just mm-hmm. wasn't. They weren't flowing. So yeah, hey, that's hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Can I just say? Can I just say, Mo? Kev and Gimpy wouldn't put up with this. Wouldn't put up with what? Were you talking all this thing about hockey malocky? No, they would. They would they? But we don't oh. we don't spend a lot of time talking about it. And we also understand it. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I'm feeling very messed up. Yeah, hockey over there, Rob. Come on, man. Don't give <laughs> us this. You got hockey over there. Don't give us this yeah, sob yeah, story. With girls playing it and boys playing it on the grass. Oh, that's the field hockey. You got to go watch the ice hockey, which is way better. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's just legalized thumping, isn't it? That's just fights. It's legalized fighting, isn't it? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's not played on a pitch. Yep. <laughs> well, they, you know, they slip about, and they, you've got you can see why they've got that stuff around the outside. Otherwise, they'd be. And you know, not only is it not played on a pitch, we don't call our games friendlies. No, <laughs> he's not friendly. No. <laughs> no. Everybody looking right. I've just did you see, did you see you got a plane named after you, Mel. I did. I thought that was awesome. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna get back. Oh, I'm sorry. This. I did not mean to like take us off track. I'm, yeah, I, we I went a little off. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to no. keep us focused. No, so, I'm so what I did this week. I'm no, I know. I know. Okay. Yeah, I was. You know, talking. Whether it's hockey or not, it's just we're, we're learning about Mo. We like to know what's going this, on with Mo. You know, we we're not folk. We're not sort of up our own doodars about it. We just chat and uh, talk about things apart from war games when it crops up. So you know, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Don't do we're it again. Going the whole show. Don't do it again. So what I did this week was uh, I started looking at the <clears throat> GTS Grand Tactical System. Hmm. And I uh, was reading through the rules. I know I spent like three times the normal cost for the greatest day, which I bought from wardrobe. Not the normal cost, the sale cost. Let's let's make it let's make it clear. It went on sale. But I think he went on sale after I bought it from him. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, he, and he, he did say sorry about that when he was on I'm home. just he was on him. Uh, but he didn't. But he didn't offer for a refund. He didn't offer to refund him the did, difference. He did not offer a refund. No, he did no, not. But he did. He did say he sent his condolences from his uh, four-week holiday in Hawaii. 
um, (laughs) Well, I mean, you know, he bought it for a lot more than what he sold it for. It's an expensive one. And it's not his fault it went on sale. He didn't know. So I would have just sent you a copy if I had it. Well, (laughs) see, there you go. So I should have thought no. The fun thing to do is for Christmas, I give, I wait for the sales and then I buy them and then I give them to my wife to give to me. (laughs) She looks up the full price Uh, (laughs) what I bought. And then I tell her, because the usually the sale receipts in there, Mm -hmm. so she sees how much I actually, she's like, are you kidding me? That's that (laughs) much? I'm like, yeah, that's why I bought it because it's like, 30% 30% yeah. of the whole price. <laughs> so, yeah. People that don't play these games, or you know, especially war games, don't realize how blooming expensive they can be. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. look at Pacific War. I mean, we've got, got a good price on that, but that's still a chunk of money, even at P500 price. Now look at it. It's over £100 over here. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And by the yeah, way, hundred pounds is how much it weighs. By the way, just uh, it's not how much it costs; it's how much it weighs. <laughs> yeah, funny you should say that. But that's why they're called pounds. <laughs> a, yeah, a pound weighed a pound of money. So anyway, yeah. go and look. Uh, at, I know, I know, I know. Go and look at Lindy Bage's um, uh, video on that. It explains how currency, all that currency, is named. So, named. Jester, what did you think of the GTS as you're going through the rules and stuff since you brought? Yeah, that I think, um, I think that. Uh, it's not a bad system and it's you know i was thinking oh my god i've jumped in way over my head but really it's not as complicated as it appears to be um once you understand a few core concepts that are different like how they do um opportunity fire which i really like yeah that's really like the way they do opportunity fire because that really makes it so friendly because you don't have to decide oh is this guy going to opportunity fire and spend his action well no now he got he rolls a die and if he can do it he could does it if he doesn't make the roll he can't so it's not yeah that's i like that it's Mm -hmm. very solo friendly yeah Yeah. and if you if you don't do it if he moves again you do it again don't you so Mm -hmm. um, yeah 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 i mean you can keep moving and moving and until and then you you know you choose the unit to attack so no, have you ever looked at GTS? Have you? Uh... Yeah, I have. Uh, Operation uh, was it Operation Mercury? Crete? Oh, yeah. yeah. Invasion oh, of Crete. Yeah. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I've, I've got it. And then I put it up on the shelf after I did the unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, yeah. But yeah. It, it does look interesting. That's why I got it. Because I was like, you know, this this does look like something to explore. I've looked at OCS. Wasn't keen on it, although it did get Korea last time. Because I was like, if I'm going to try OCS for real, I would probably try a subject that I'm more into. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting bored I got clear. of OCS. What's that? I'm getting bored of OCS. I just don't want to say that out loud. Because really? I like I like I like push this system so much and it is a good system and I like the fact that there's a logistics. I just I'm like I was playing I'm playing DAC with Kev and I'm like I gotta I gotta you know it's just it's kind of the same old same old but then when you look at gts you look at all the new stuff that's coming out it almost seems like ocs is kind of this old school now it's like it's Mm. it's it's like an older system now and there's so much cool stuff out there i still like it but i think there's a lot of cool stuff that's out there now that's not you know bcs i think is i like it better than ocs that's because, what I would, would want to try rather than OCS. Mm-hmm. I, I love it because OCS was that first one where it's like, oh, cool, a system where you can't do everything you want to do. You know, it limits you because you have to have the supply to attack mm-hmm. and move and stuff like that. So I saw that. And then I played BCS. Me and Mitch worked out BCS. And I'm like, that snafu that you roll every time you activate to see what you can do, that just absolutely just blows. It's like, it throws all your plans out the water. Like you, you, you can't, you have to have like five plans to go through. Mm-hmm. So, so which yeah. is what it should be because oh. that's one of the things that we, we struggle with as war gamers is perfect information. And the fact that your units can pretty much all always move mm-hmm. and shoot, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and, and that's something that I'd like to see added more into games is more of that uh, friction aspect, the, the chance of things not going the way you, you know, want them to, like you were saying with the snafu table, mm-hmm. Throwing you, throwing you off totally. It's like, yeah. well, 
You you right. can't do that now. So you can only adjust. do certain things. And what you're going to do as a commander, mm -hmm. you know, where, where's you're going to spend that to make it the best best of your exactly. Life. Yeah, exactly. That's what happens, I suspect, in real life war. Mm -hmm. So you know things happen, and you, you wanted to send those up there, and now you can't. So you think, what's Plan B? Yeah. Right. And I think GTS is a different way. It has a different way of doing that. And I always thought Opportunity Fire was weird as you can only do it once. I'm like, you know, it does, you know, in a tactical game, I get it. Yeah. It's, because it's short time period, you know, yeah. like AT, you know, like I get it because the time period for each turn. But like when you're talking about more of a little bit higher level, Mm -hmm. like squads and not just squads but like companies and region I'm like you gotta be kidding me it's a it's an hour turn and they can only shoot once yeah. i'm like they like i'm sorry we're not that i mean even if you're firing muskets you can re a good person can reload three shots in a minute <laughs> yeah. you know so yeah. so or I, yeah i think opportunity fire even at tactical level should be allowed at all times because that's the threat of moving forward. Advancement is going to come with risk. And, you know, you, they may hit, they may not hit. Obviously, at a distance, depend, well, now with modern weapons, a little different. But at a distance, it's a, a lesser chance of hitting. But as you get closer, you close that distance, yeah, there's a greater chance of being hit. And that, again, is the risk yeah. of both sides. Yeah, you've seen them. So don't, you, um, yeah. mm -hmm. don't you think the game is just assuming... You know, there's a lot more fire going on as you, but you're only rolling for like the one opportunity that might cause some damage to that. I mean, well, you're not rolling of, for every time units are firing. It's you know ease of uh, it's ease of use for the mm -hmm. user because if you yeah. had to, you know, if if you did have opportunity yeah. to fire for every time they moved, it would just drag the game out, and then people would go, oh, "This is taking too long," you know, to make a move. Mm -hmm. This is frustrating. Just do it once. So for yeah. making it a game. <laughs> You know, once you once you go and you have everybody shooting every time, then it becomes more simulation aspect. Hmm. Yeah. So I think yeah. that the designers here that are listening could uh, would be better to explain yeah, that than me. Right. I think you know, yeah, but I think that's what it is: ease of use for the users. Make like the game playable, probably to make it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I will tell you though that does because it does slow down GTS when you move into the fire range, and you base it's a dice chucker at that point. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. can I do it? No, okay, move a bot. Can I do it? Okay, no, move a bot. Can I do it? Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do it. You know, so I do see where it does slow down in the game, but I also find it a little bit more fun at the same time. It's like you're yeah. not quite sure if you can do it. You know, maybe there's a gun jam or maybe, you know, you know, they thought they hit it and they can't see quite real quick. But mm -hmm. so, yeah, that was one of the things that I liked about it is it's not guaranteed to do it. But you can do it more than once, yeah. you know, so you're not throwing but it all also, your... It has a little bit of that push your look mechanic, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, there's a really powerful unit over here, you know, and I get in there and he does an opportunity fire. Okay, well, if I don't move anymore, mm -hmm. ooh, but I would really like to, uh, do I push And that's where it gets game? gamey, too. That's where it gets gamey, too. It's <laughs> like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to try to make you use your op, op fire. I'm going to give you this recon unit. Go ahead, kill him. I don't care. And, and then mm. somebody will go, oh, it's a it's a target. I'm going to take a shot at them. Boom. Okay, now you have you use your opportunity fire. Now I can run right through with these bigger guys. Mm. No, everybody should be at risk because that's mm. the way it is. You know, in, in combat, everyone's at risk. So, I, I, again, like you were saying, Tony, it starts becoming a dice chucker at that point because then you are having to determine each, each combat. Um, maybe there's a way to expedite that, make it quicker, but uh, I'm not sure until – you know, it gets tried out and played by a bunch of people. Yeah, GTS. Doesn't, um, doesn't the um, old school, uh, not old school, um, the hell is it called? Uh, last 100 Yards, right? There is an opportunity to fire in, old, in the last yeah. 100 yards, right? It's just assumed as you're moving up, you're taking, you're taking, uh, you know, you put those little counters on yourself as you're moving into enemies areas. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the turn, you roll to find out if you took any hits or any damage. Yeah, everything happens real time as yeah. you as you're moving, but then it gets resolved at the end, right. which I think is a brilliant system. Right. It's a brilliant it's idea. Kind of, yeah, I've got the Solomon last mm -hmm. hundred yards. I haven't had a chance to have a look at it yet, but yeah, it sounds good. I've got again this opportunity fire. It's, it's it's to compromise like everything in more games, I suppose. Yeah. 
Um, uh, Herman, we did have a designer respond to your your things. Uh, there's oh, one up go. above. There's one up, three up. By the way, Herman responded. Yeah, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm waxing my duty. Sorry. Mm. Fires mm. happening all the time. You're just resolving these few that are chance. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm thinking. I mean, yeah, because you're not rolling for every single time somebody pulls the trigger. And there's always you know shots and stuff that's going come, on. Then how come units don't die? <laughs> well, or, or a flip? Compromise. Yeah, it's a compromise. What are you doing? No, I know. I know. Be right. Right. Playing for hours just to do one turn, wouldn't you? Oh no, that's. Uh, that's... Flying sword is based entirely on the concept of historical chaos. More about how you react to stuff happening on the battlefield and how well mm -hmm. you build your contingencies. Yeah. Yeah. And how well you would I mean, it's a great discussion. Um, yeah, so I was looking at GTS. Um, I found some, you know, because the maps are kind of huge, somebody had actually created like maps for the scenario. Mm -hmm. So I want to have a video sometime this week on how to put maps together for um your different scenarios, like I did for old school tactical. You know, nice. I love old school tactical. I think Mo, you like old school tactical as well, yeah. don't you? Yeah, it's a fun system. Yeah. Uh, the only problem I have with it is that huge ass board. And huge ass I, box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. So it's what big. I ended up doing was <laughs> cutting out the section of the map that I'm going to use on a scenario, printing it all out and putting it on my table. You cut it out of your big board. Oh, <laughs> You know, no, I, know, I, know, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing with that, isn't it? You've, you've got the one map, mm -hmm. which is like three miles long, but you might only use that bit for that scenario. Yeah, so right, you, right. yeah that's a good idea. Yeah, just yeah. Print But down it's the, also, yeah, when so you, but tell me, every time you set up that map, that you don't just sit there and go, I want to use the entire map and play a giant battle. You know, it's just, yeah. it's a it's a beautiful map. I mean, they're they really are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. They are beautiful map. Yeah. And that's well, why I think a most fear, a most fearful sacrifice is going to be really kick ass because oh, that is a big, giant, gorgeous map. Yeah, it, this is just like this is like half of the map. Let's see how's it go? So, nice. You know, so you're talking big sections mm -hmm. like that, but you know, if you're just playing a one scenario, that you might need some that, section yeah. of this, then yeah, and you only need this one section. So it reminds me of block table. and load. Yeah. He's a map model now. Yes, he's I am. I am. So you, um so here's the sorry, thing. That sorry, Jess, really... sorry. Have you seen he's gone bonkers on target for today? He's, he's printed out player mats, he's printed out sheets, he's Did gone you see my player mat? Look at my player mat I made. Wow. All right. Oh. Nice. Sorry to interrupt, but I just have to say that you That's bit... awesome. I love it. I love oh, it. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you have you have your different areas where your planes come in to attack. So do you, you have a printing company or are you going to start an Etsy shop to sell these? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Tony said. He said you should you know you should make a few copies and put them online and the orders yeah. in, take the money, and then go and get printed. Yeah. So, but my next map will be even better. I do. I like these little craft parts like this. Okay. So back to. GTS again? One of the things that keeps me, and I think this is a really good discussion, especially with Mo here, because Mo is in the military for how many years were you in the military? F four years? Four years, yeah. Okay. So one of the daunting things that I always have problems with, I was never in the military, not a Counting? military guy at all, never <laughs> did anything, right? When we're talking about playing war games, a lot of comp, a lot of games use terminology that i'm not familiar with they use the hierarchy system where you have brigades and regiments and divisions all those things that i don't know you know the hierarchy i'm i'm new i don't know any of that stuff so like i know gts uses division chits formation chits and i'm like i don't know what a formation is i don't know what a division is how, how is this going to be way over my head or not? It's in the rule book. The, I know the, it's in the rule book, right? So you can do that. But what I'm saying is, is going into playing war games, mm -hmm. knowing if you've been in the military and you're familiar with that stuff, it all makes sense to you. And it's a little bit easier. Would you say it would be easier for you to understand concepts? Sure. For you to understand, oh, these two chits are part of the division and the division headquarters is over here. For me, it took me years to learn this stuff. 
Yeah, it, yeah. It, I mean, it does make sense, but at the same time, there are things that don't make sense because it's a game. You know, uh, like I've I've talked, we've talked about this, I think, as well bef- before. I am not a fan, and I understand from a gaming aspect, it needs to be there, but I'm not a fan of artificial um, the the tur- uh, turn limits in tactical games. That's like artificial stress. It's added right. in there. You have five turns to get from here to there, and when you map it out, you're like, okay, if I don't get shot at, I can barely get there in five turns. You right. know, and it's right. like that's kind of stupid. In a real tactical environment, you're not just going to run headlong into fire. You're going to take your time and be, you know, you're going to move by bounds and things like that. You're going to set up your base fire, have your movement element, things like that, that are going to take longer than five turns if you were to do it that way. But mm-hmm. again, it's where you have to say, well, it's a game. So there's things that you will find easier to understand, but at the same time, you'll go, yeah, that wouldn't really work that well in right. the real world. But right. again, it's a game. But right. it, I, I, I get what you're saying. Totally. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, you're off. Go ahead. I'm just going to say, I get what you're saying. For new mm-hmm. people who aren't military orientated, but love war games and love military history, knowing what a you know a, a, an army is, a, a mm-hmm. company division, the going, you know, the, the shit rolling downhill stuff. Um, um, well, that's the military in a nutshell. Yeah. So um, <laughs> hurry up and wait, and shit rolls downhill. Yeah, yeah. It comes from down and comes down to you, doesn't it? So, yeah. uh, um, but not not knowing what's what does it did me to put people off thinking now what's this? What's a brigade? What's what's a, is that bigger than a division? No, no. Mm-hmm. It's a regiment. What's that? Oh, God. So I don't know if people designers assume. Uh, I think in Fields of Fire, that was a big thing, that they assumed you had some sort of knowledge uh, about how that rolls mm-hmm. downhill. Um, mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, y- you have to do some research. And I've got a little printout that I use when I have a, play a game that shows mm-hmm. me all the symbols of three mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the, the Xs. And I look at it and go, ah, that's an army. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And how many, how many men are normally in that? Depends on the era you're doing because mm-hmm. uh, Second World War, um, uh, divisions are different to modern day and Vicky Verky. So yeah, it is a problem and I can understand exactly what you're saying, Jester, but I think it's, and it will put people off looking at this stuff and it's sort of that not making any sense at all. You know, what's the formation? It took me ages to find out what the formation was. Right. Right. It's just the things with the same color. I guess <laughs> if you're not part of that and you didn't grow up doing it and you didn't, yes. you know, join the military, for somebody outside, it's like, you know, when they start talking about, oh, yeah, we've got three regiments are part of the division. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and the ones that always get me is brigade, and there's another one that begins with the B. Battalion. Battalion. Battalion, right. So I don't know which one is like, oh, it's a brigade. Well, I don't, is that the high? Is that bigger? One or is that the lower one? Well, the easiest am, way to remember it, the easiest way to remember it, like up the battalion, for example, is because it was throwing you off is go from the smallest the smallest would be would be fire team then squad then platoon then company yep. then battalion easiest way to remember it company battalion okay. every battalion has companies in it the, I've got and then that. you go from I've got that. Yeah. I, I mean and then you can go I grew up, up from playing the, the tactical so squad mm-hmm. fire teams and platoons I I I got that one I yeah. got that but that's because I spent all that time but when I started playing the bigger games with, sure, you know, battalion uh, divisions and cores, and you know, sometimes, uh, it's just well, you have mass formations. When you have armies, you have mass formations. They're going to have higher strengths, lower movement. You know, and then you have battalions. They're going to have lower strengths, and then they're going to have probably better movement or equal movement, depending. You know, but it's it's it is something that usually in rule books will have that. And it'll give you that breakdown on the inside of the like first, second, third page, something like that. That'll give mm-hmm. it because it does throw you off. It will throw you off. I've not come across that. They'll give you a breakdown. They'll give you like a a, a, a picture of all the different things, mm-hmm. but they won't say this is bigger than this one by this much. And what this means, this is broken down into <laughs> that. You know, yeah. it trips off your tongue, Mo, because you know what you're talking about. You know, and <laughs> so- well, they <laughs> usually have those. Just I have not found it differently. They usually have them in 
um, descending order from top to bottom. Usually yeah. the top is the largest and the bottom is the smallest. Yeah, no, so you get a bit patronized now, Tony. No, yeah, no. I am going to patronize well, you. Well, if you that. understand where a battalion is in the in the big scheme of things, just look at the chart. If it's at the top, then it's starting at the smallest and going to the lowest or to the largest. If it's at the bottom, then it's starting off at the largest and going oh. down. So oh, you'll I'm know whether it's sending. See, something. I like I like paths of glory. So the armies are the bigger chits, mm -hmm. and then oh, the divisions oh, oh, are the smaller true. chits. Well, I, was to, <laughs> I can get that one. one. That one I understand. <laughs> I was trying to bring a bit of sort of you know <laughs> framework to because new new boys and girls that want to play these games who haven't got a clue, yeah. And sure. uh, that was that was me. They haven't got a clue. What's this? What's that? Even though they're from biggest to smallest. If you've never played a game before, you don't know they're mm. from biggest to smallest. You know, yeah, so, that's true. My true. see, my biggest issue, Jester, on this is not the order of the size, it's the freaking NATO symbols and or mm. how many X's equals what. Because that could mm. change per game. The NATO symbols don't, but like the number of X's and stuff like that could change. And so um for OCS it took me a while and I I what I used to do is just open to the page that had that exactly what it is because they have the uh RE or the regimental equivalent so like how many equals one regiment because that matters what, Tom, the, more X's, the more X's you got the bigger it is yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for patronizing me and if I you have three it. X's if you have three X's it's the Vin Diesel unit and no, <laughs> If you got three X's, you won. You won. No. The Vin Diesel Brigade. Uh oh. Here we go. I've had too much. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. So I'm getting bored of it. Him. No, no. As soon no, as it but... was mentioned, he showed up. OCS yeah, yeah. and oh, Art yeah. Wolf appears. Say OCS yeah, three OCS. times fast on Art Wolf. Art Wolf oh, appears. Up, yeah. But, but I think I it was more of the is... what is equal at a, a, a regiment, like because of the regimental <clears throat> equivalent, because that matters with the um, uh, SP and you know supply and stuff like that. So it took me a while to figure. Okay, well, two of these equals one RE, so I can spend one SP to get. And I now I'm talking in in. You know, like acronyms. And You're talking maps, like. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so, but that was my biggest issue. Is like, mm. okay, so what does that equal? Because that matters in the, in the certain games, it matters. It does. The a little the other, paragraph so. of just saying in this game, blah 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 equals this and that, and these are bigger. So, what you might need to do is blah blah blah, and of course, it all changes in American Civil War because uh, mm. regiments are different in yeah, depending what side you're on and what time of the year it is and what. Uh, there's an R in the month, you know, so mm -hmm. it, it, it's right. very confusing. What I'm saying is very confusing for people who want to pick up the game. Well, you know, what? you want to get even more confused. Look into the Marine Corps breakdown of things. We used to have uh, chaotic. Well, no, it's Muse. Well, it was Mouse, and it was Muse and Mebs and Mefs. Marine Amphibious Unit, Marine Amphibious Brigade, uh, Marine Expedi Expeditionary Unit, Marine Expeditionary Brigade, Marine <laughs> Expeditionary Force. It's confusing even to the Marine Corps. I know. Like, what confuses me as well with the Marine Corps is that wow. Marines, Marines just, okay, boys, you're off. Yeah. And you go, they have tanks. I didn't realize they had tanks. That's the Marines. Not anymore. Tanks. Not anymore. They took tanks. Oh, right. I was going to say, because that was like, Marines have tanks. That's a bit. Uh, right now, the Marine Corps has no tanks, has no amphibious vehicles. Marine Corps. Really? Really that amphibious. makes no like sense it. for the amphibious. Wow. That well, makes no sense. The word Marine has <laughs> Well, I guess they were the navies, and then they just put the marines on the navies amphibious stuff. Yeah, when they call kitchens galleys, you know they're in the blooming navy, don't you? So you know it's, uh... we are we're a department in the navy, the men's yeah. department, and then you have the um, Uber. We have Uber. We have the navy. Um, no offense to my navy guys. Well, yeah, there is offense to the navy guys. Navy guys. He's done it now, and it's all, uh, all been drinking. Stop it. <laughs> no, but the thing is, with it, it is true that they took away uh, armor for the Marine Corps because now they've changed to the Marine Littoral Regiments. So they're going to be doing things for the New Force 2030 that the Commandant wants to do, where the Marine Corps is hopping around island island with high mars and just tossing rockets at Chinese you know ships as they go by. And then uh, they took away amphibious vehicles because we had that tragic thing uh, last year, I believe it was, where the Amtrak went down and we lost some Marines and a, and a corpsman. And they grounded the entire amphibious fleet. All the AAVs are grounded. They're, they're doing away with them. You know, they said that's it. And we haven't gone to the new, we haven't got enough testing on the new vehicle yet. So 
right now the Marine Corps cannot do its job, its main function, which is amphibious operations, because mm. we don't have that. <laughs> so mm. that's not good. Onto the land, don't they? Is that what they do? That's what Marine Co that's what Marine soldiers were doing right back from when time began. That's so, why they're called Marines, soldiers yeah, from the sea. And then they go across the water onto the land yeah. and do their Marine stuff. Which yep. they're good at. We're modeled off the uh, British Marines. Yeah. The U.S. Marines. Yep. Hmm. Well, there's so, not. That's not the only thing we bottled the Brit off the British. I think our entire oh, military yeah. system was bottled. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Because <laughs> we're, we're, we're technically we're British. British, but you know, we just said no to King George. You know, yeah, it's the mother country, and then we says, "Screw you guys, we're doing our own thing." Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> it, only because King George was a Wally. That's why, you know. Yeah. If, if it had played the game right, you know, we could, uh, you know, who knows? Still be... what, yeah, who knows what? We're anyway, we're still we're still yeah. brothers. Across, yeah, across. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. we're separated by a common language because we don't know what Ruff is saying half the time. So, and he oh. don't understand what we're saying either. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We say gas, and he says he says petrol. No, our, say our gas, gas has no, no more. You say gas, I say no more carried eggs for me. <laughs> well, we have multiple meanings between gas. You can go in your car. You can come out with your yeah. ass. I mean, <laughs> you can go in your balloon. Oh, oh, wait, wait, John. Correct. John, John no, Longshore, yes. Yeah. We do not have lieutenants in our military. We have lieutenants. No, we don't have right tenants either. We <laughs> only have lieutenants. Uh. Although, although I have to say, I do love the term lieutenant. I just yeah, think it's I, badass. Yeah. <laughs> I do kind of. It's because it's, it's. That's very true, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's de derived from another language. That's what I hear. So, you know. And I have to watch myself when I'm playing games because I do. It's so easy to go into the American vernacular and go, "Here's the I'm playing Brit some Brit things. Here's here's the lieutenants." And I go, "Oh God, no, no, rewind, lieutenants." So uh, it is. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, lieutenant is just, it just sounds so cool, and then it also yeah. tells you whether it's British or or U.S. Exactly. You know how it's how it's used, unless it's a British officer talking or a British you know person speaking to an American, they they'll still say lieutenant from and I, out of habit. You know, I try to do, even if no matter who I'm playing, actually, I tried to say lieutenant because that's how we say lieutenant. Yeah. Um, and you say lieutenant, you wouldn't go, if you're playing the British uh, side, you wouldn't go, oh, and the uh, the, the, the lieutenant is, uh, you'd say lieutenant, or you would say lieutenant. You wouldn't change the way you say it. That's normal. And even I'm confused now because you, I do. I get well, you guys are just confusing me more. <laughs> Well, that's the funny thing. And then when it comes to, I mean, well, like I was saying, when it's it's British and American, we're used to the back and forth. But tell me it's not screwed up. It, it, it's it, it's expected now when you see Romans that they have that they all have wonderful British accents. Testudo <laughs> instead of saying testudo. You're right. You you're know, right. Like that. You know, it's like, oh my God, every every Roman show has Roman, to be yeah. with a British yeah. accent. It's like you see right. a guy come up. Or go, Australian, you got because you got to throw yeah. Russell Crowe in there. But That's most true. of them are British, so yeah. But if you got a guy that comes in and he's like, "Hey y'all, I got these legions I need to take <laughs> over here," people are gonna go, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Who brought in the heck? <laughs> right. Or if they right. say it with an Italian accent, it's like I can't understand what he's saying. It doesn't sound historically accurate. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, Duh. everybody thinks Roman spoke <laughs> British English. No. Exactly. Oh, we oh. lost Ruff. Oh, uh, did I offend him? <laughs> no, I think he just locked up. Who yeah, knows? he was kind of froze there for a second. So, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's... Well, what I find interesting about the Roman army is that once they kind of took over, like, the area, they would actually have pretty diverse legions. Like... Mm -hmm. They would have, you know, Africans, and it didn't matter if they were well, part they of the Roman the world, pretty much. World, yeah. yeah. I always thought that was interesting that that would happen. Yeah, we Sorry. were wondering if we, if you got mad. At, no, you know. no, no, no. I think it's because uh, somebody <laughs> over there, because we were saying left, lieutenant, lieutenant, it kicked my internet off. So. Um... <laughs> Yeah, sorry about it. it. Just went. The internet just went. So apologies. <laughs> Fred, Fred, Fred 90 called. They want their computer back, Rob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fred said console Billy Bob. That would be <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, of course, John <laughs> Wade made the perfect uh, Mongolian, Mongolian, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, he well, was also was a the, great Roman no, soldier, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, by oh, God. He really so the was. Mongolian, the son saying, of God. They're saying he got cancer. <laughs> Because of that Mongolian movie, 
because mm-hmm. it was filmed real close to where they tested the Atabon. They all at. did. I think 22 yeah. of them ended up with cancer mm-hmm. out of that movie. Yep. Yeah, really? so... Yeah, and so, then yeah you have it was all the that downwinders movie, yeah. too. The whole story of the downwinders too. Look that up. That's really messed up. All the people that were downwind of all the testing of the nuclear explosion. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're t- we're t- we're doing World War II in uh, school right now, so I'm teaching World War II, mm. and I have to I have to control it because I have aviation students, so I have to. They really love World War II, so I don't end up with a World War II class because I have testing that, so I have to cover other stuff. Mm. But so I kind of buzz over the stuff as quickly as possible but i have i usually show a movie once every other chapter just to kind of keep it fresh and not just hear me mm-hmm. so none of them had seen my um memphis bell and since i have aviation really? students i thought oh, that wow. was probably one of the best movies to show them yeah and it made me laugh because they did the snafu situation normal all up <laughs> and mm-hmm. like i the kids like that's what you know, you know the acronisms that like <laughs> they know what lmafo means but they don't yeah. know what snafu means and snafu uh, actually would uh. be more appropriate to a lot of things in life if you said snafu mm-hmm. or fubar or well, fubar yeah i was gonna yeah. say fubar yeah. yeah snafu or fubar are the two that are like military terms that they should probably know because they're probably more realistic to what they deal with but yeah no they're like yeah we haven't seen that one i'm like okay and like one of the kids actually argued with me and said the new Pearl Harbor, the one with Ben Affleck, is a good movie. <laughs> I'm like, it Arr. has fantastic special effects. And that's what it's saying. not a good movie <laughs> though. <laughs> it has two things going for it: fantastic special effects and Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. Outside of this that, <laughs> this is the kid who said, "Hey, we part. should watch Full Metal Jacket in class." Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it's rated R. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> or what's he? What was the other one? Saving Private Ryan. Mm. All good movies. No, don't get me wrong. I dig all the movies. But yeah, no, it's it's one of those things. Hey, now she's back again. She likes the camera, guys. She she she's loves being nice. on YouTube. She likes gloating she, when she beats you in games too. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed he's not d- done a rematch yet? Have you noticed? I yeah, noticed. Right? Right, I keep we keep asking him about it. And he they, they want to us to play answer. more. They want you to play. when well, they want us well, to play. Well, this is your channel, isn't it? You guys have to oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah. she puts it on me. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Well, and not the other, till the not till the construction's done. We have no yeah. room to play. We like, have the floor. I'm and not the putting my game on the. She's like, we have the floor. I'm like, I'm not putting my board game on the oh, floor. These names. <laughs> <laughs> See, at her age, it's easy to sit down and play on the floor. Yeah. At our age, we're you like, realize no, my we're knees are a problem. Like, yeah, I can't yeah, get yeah, up yeah. after I'm on the floor for very long. Oh, you have knee problem? <laughs> oh, it's you, must, the... you must be real. Yeah. You must be real. Wait till you're you our age. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. Mo says wait till you're our age, <laughs> yeah. and then we'll and, see. And then we'll laugh. Then you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm the youngest out of us. I'm. I think I'm the youngest out of us. Get in there and tell her to get in there and start painting that kitchen. Let's go. She's already. Just said you need to go start painting the kit. Well, the paint, painting's already done. They finished that today. Oh, okay. yeah. So, and actually, I'm impressed with how quickly they did all this painting. Like it was two day, three days, and they're done, nice. and it looks perfect. I'm like, I am. I told them, I said, whenever I have a painting job, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm gonna, <laughs> you guys, I'm done painting. I, I've shit. reached yeah. that. I'm getting a guy. Like I'm at that age where I'm gonna get a guy. I'm not gonna do this stuff by yeah, myself. Yeah. It was two guys. It's two guys. I think we need to set up a when they called Mo. When they called Mo, Tony. What? When they called Mo. Who are they called? No, no. No, One was Gage and the other was Matt. We had Matt and Gage. Well, you had Gloss put on the paint, didn't you? Gloss, not Matt. What are you talking about? (laughs) I don't I don't even know what he's (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. It takes it takes half hour to get down and then forget it to get up again. Forget uh, it. Yeah, no, we will we will have to Oh my god, that fell over. I don't know what happened. Um no, we'll have to we will have to do once the construction's done, we'll have to do a game and get back her her back. 
because and her one friend Eric, um, he said he wanted to play. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put both of them against me. And maybe I'll win because both Ooh. of them are against me instead of just one of them. Uh, She's a smart cookie. You're not making it easy for yourself, Tom. You should have put one on your side. And <laughs> oh, maybe I'll put her on my side. And then no. Eric, oh, no? Well, that's, not, that's unfair. I think, she beat um, me, though. I think, I Mo, when we get together and have our little group challenge, I think we're going to have Tony's daughter substitute for Doni, though. Is that okay with you? No, that's fine. That's okay. fine. Oh, by the way, I've been kicked out, and now you're going to take my spot in any game. <laughs> Unless it's a card draw. Unless it's a card draw, then I've got it. Because I can draw cards better than I can roll dice. Uh, oh, there's some cards. Yeah, there's plenty of cards. Dropping nukes and things like that, and, and all yeah. sorts of like weird pestilence and all sorts of biblical things at the end yes yes ending ending the other I'm talking about uh, foobar and um snafus the other one i like is ssdd so um you yep. know i do same like stuff one. different day yeah yeah yep. no it's not stuff no, well i know but there's there's a, there's the young lady present so i'm trying to be nice <laughs> how is um how's whiskey charlie coming with the guys you guys doing still good. hanging in there yeah, yeah doing good we we're next show is on tuesday Next Tuesday, great. This Tuesday, what time are we looking? Yeah, Kev's going through the same thing I am with like a total remodel, so he's like only playing yeah. like. Hey, you're having the kitchen done. He's remodeling seventeen thousand acres of uh, land. <laughs> of so, prime <laughs> Texas land, yeah. Yeah. Different. yeah. He's <laughs> building a whole new house and everything he's else. Building, he's building he? a ranch. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Daddy yeah, Warbuck he's over there. He's, yeah, he's moving out of the city and. I think he's building a compound. I think that's what is on yeah. his mind. Yeah. And, you know, we, he and I were talking about it. He's like, come on down, man. Come on down. It's plenty of land. And I'm like, well, retire in a few years. It might be a good idea. Well, I have a little weenie there so you can sort of walk across and then play yeah. games. Central sort of thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're like, hold on. We're going to do a live whiskey, Charlie. Let wow. me run over to Kev's or he can come over yeah. here or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Hey, that would be that'd great. Be fun. Uh, yeah. Fred says Kev's rebuilding the Alamo. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> we See, Jay missed, Jay missed it. We did have my daughter on as a special guest the one time after we finished our game. So Jay yeah. missed that one. So we'll have right. to play a game. Do you know what? Do you know what she talks? I see, I see where she gets it from, Tom. She talks as much as you. Yeah. Right. No, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the best part so, of today is me and Tony are on at the same time. Usually I'm here because he's yeah. not here. Yeah, that's true. Weird. This is like the first time you act, you two have actually ever talked. <laughs> I think I think it is the first time we've been on the show together. Once or, yeah, yeah, I think we were on once maybe, but yeah, usually you're no, on. There was, uh, no, there was one no, time no, I was no. gone. He fills in. Oh, that's right. He was in. That's right. Yeah. And you came yeah. in for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you, yeah. he filled in <laughs> for you, Jester. So. Yeah, I'm the substitute. What the heck? <laughs> You're not the substitute today. I'm the substitute. You're an official <laughs> f uh, fan. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm, uh, I'm, official, I'm the um, I'm the farm yes, system. I'm, I'm in the farm system. I got a call up from the American <laughs> League to the NHL. Yeah. There you go. There you <laughs> go. Are totally you right-handed or left-handed? Me, right-handed. Okay, so got to bring in the righty. Got to bring in the righty. Oh, you know, yeah. we got to bring, yeah, the... bring in the righty. Oh, no, no, us to the lefties. Us to the lefties. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm left. I'm left. <laughs> Yeah, yeah lefties. <laughs> I like the way you did. I'm left. Southport. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean a thing. Maybe we ain't got that thing. Anyway, John Lonstar. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, that, so what yeah. we'll do is once we get the remodel done, I'll be mm. able to set up a game, and me and me and Natalie will play another game of Command and Color. It's Ancients. Nice. And yeah, then we'll have her on, and we can talk about how badly she beat me this time. You could give me the Although I am probably going to find a scenario where I take the winning, the, the stronger side, and see what happens. It won't matter, Tony. It won't matter. Even if you stack the deck. Why don't you just give her matter. Field Commander Rommel and tell her to go play this scenario and tell you how well she does? <laughs> no, because that would make Ruff look bad, too, if she's successful. No, I got out of Belgium. You didn't. I at least got out of Belgium. I did. I just got pushed back. Yeah. I went out of Belgium, but I just got pushed back. That's a stinkingly hard thingy. That whole yeah. that that game, because I did the I did the Africa one. That game is 
hot. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> that game is hard. I look, period. I look confused. <laughs> you both look unhappy. Yeah, I look confused. What am I doing here? Right? Yeah. yeah, they're all hard tone, aren't they? Really yeah. hard. Yeah. Well, that's where the replay it's, value it's, comes in. Because yeah, you're like, yeah. damn it, I got to win. Yeah, and that, that right. first one is just, dude, yeah. If it's somebody said they, won, it, they so. won that scenario on yeah. the first turn, and everybody said you didn't do it right then. <laughs> He won on he the first turn or he, something. He won on the first turn by setting up the game, going and looking at it and going, Yeah, okay. Puts it all back yeah. in the box. I win. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a it's a it's a good games. So, you know, DVG. I love I love DVG stuff. I'm playing Warfighter at the moment. I love it. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a stinkingly hard it is uh, scenario. I agree, I agree with um, what Jester said though. It it feels like an artificial toughness to it. Hmm. Yeah, I think they made I mean, it hard. They specifically oh, made it yeah, yeah, super yeah. tough because they know once you finally break through, it's there a, ain't going to be nothing to stop you. Yeah, yeah. So you I you do the they, modern stuff. I mean, you enjoy the modern stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you play the Warfighter modern at all? I have, I have, and it's yeah. you, Warfighter is Warfighter regardless yeah. of era. It's just different, uh, you know, different cards, different skins. Basically, it's the same game. Yeah. It really yeah. is, but you'll get into the mindset that it's uh, I think you'll enjoy it more if you play the one that has the theme that you like the most. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I mean, I think Warfighter is a fun game. It's just, uh, I don't know. Cards just kind of wear me out. I think, mm -hmm. especially when you've got that many cards and mm -hmm. after a while it's like, okay, just to set up alone. It's just a, yeah. kind of a beating. Yeah. 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 But I do enjoy it. I've got mm -hmm. thousands of cards. I haven't got the whole lot. Oh, you don't have cards. the whole thing. No, I don't have the whole thing. I have most of the European. I haven't got the, the, the sort of uh, two okay. thing. And I haven't got everything of Pacific, but um, mm -hmm. and I've, I've only got the sort of core game and some bits and pieces that DVG sent me. Um, yeah, the Foot Locker? I've got two. You got two, okay. Yeah, well, I've got, it's actually the, the, the Foot Locker, and I've got a, um, a sort of MDF thing that was made for putting in the uh, Arkham living card game. Mm -hmm things and that's full so yeah. there must be thousands but i love it i love it it's just, it's a, it's a, when i put it up kev said oh i hope you're, you're eating some uh drinking a beer and eating an american pretzel and i went <laughs> beer and no, pretzel game, baby. But, but i love it and i get what you're saying it is yeah. it's just fun and people it enjoy it and i've got got this up on the channel and people are loving it and um, mm -hmm. it's 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 what it is Oh, it creates a great um, narrative. It really it does. Really it's is. it's a fun game for that. It is an yeah. absolute blast for that. Yeah. And I forgot mm -hmm. how much fun it is if you just want to play a simple sort mm -hmm. of um, lose yourself, pick some cards, throw some dice, swear, and because uh, you didn't get <laughs> through the cover. And yeah, brilliant. But yeah, it's not. It's not. Um... Oh no, 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 no! It's also not going to take you that many hours. But you see, to set up or to, to learn. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, what I'm saying is, I, I like it all. I like it from the sort of low level stuff right up to the crunchy. crunchy. Ooh, so that's a, that's a thing. So they, uh, what's that? Wardrobe just picked up the ASL core. They're calling them the pocket chapter books, mm. which are re reprinted of their regular little things. No, no, it's a full size. No, page. they're full size books. I don't know why they're calling them pocket books, but because there is a pocket one as well, isn't there? Mm, no, maybe I don't know. Oh, rules yeah. for no, ASL or is it a game? So it what is, they did I is they had the pocket that didn't have chapter H. So now they're reselling all the pocket oh, editions. Wow. Mm. Oh my god! Seriously, why is my battery going dead? Because you're oh, using it up. Be our lucky day. I have it. <laughs> I have it. You have it in the mains. That's why. Get out of it. So uh, they have. Uh, if you go to ASL rules, they now have these. There's the pocket chapter eight, pocket chapter eight, pocket, okay. chapter eight, pocket charts, and the pocket rule book volume two. Hmm. And you can buy the whole, all three of them together for ninety five dollars. That's that's uh, yeah. See, I don't know anything about ASL as far as no. like their products because I don't play. 
The only thing I've got is one of the first starter kit, and uh, I better look through that. Looks good, but you know. So wardrobe just got them and did an unboxing, and I'm like, ah, I. I well, that's why sound. that's why you get the sound. PDF version, so that way it updates automatically from War Game Vault. You don't mm, have to yeah. buy oh, it. Yeah. So. so I think you know they're putting it out there for people to buy, but I think if you actually go through and actually get the actual, um, uh, how much is the PDF? Are they making that sixty price? bucks? Sixty. Are they making 60, that price? sort of prohibited to buy the physical thing because if you buy the pdf it's automatically updated all the time yeah, yeah I, I think that's the way they wanted to go is because it's updated all the time and it's like 60 70 dollars it's actually it's not, bad. not bad no it's not bad not when you're considering that's the entire rule booklet um, and you're getting continued support because you're getting the yeah. updated rules yeah. so that that's that's good i'm like you boo yeah Who, what's no that one, yeah <laughs> Exactly. More <laughs> game of the year. Didn't you hear that? I think that's on the abandonware site somewhere. Yeah, geez, right, yeah. I think you had mentioned that in your last or your whiskey Charlie last time yeah. you were on. Yeah. I, yeah, I well, found, it's I heard that you guys talking about that. Yeah, it's essentially been which is a shame, and that's the problem with the that's whole the gimmick thing. of of uh you know app based games for a board game or app assisted. Because you if you're gonna do that, you need to upfront say that. This is going to be an app. It's going to be open source code, and we're going to release it to the general public mm -hmm. once mm -hmm. we have decided mm -hmm. that we're going to end support. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then yeah, and they and these companies don't. They just move on to the next game. Yeah, it's the next money so, maker. So what what was the background for that? I mean, do they not? I mean, you can't buy the game, so they must have sold all the games. So what's 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 going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? It's just a, a, the developer that they got from what I understand is not doing any more work on it. So they've moved on to something else too. So if, you know, think about it, if a developer is not going to get continually paid, they're going to move on. You know, if, mm. you're, if you're not going to be paid incentivized to update a game or update any product, you're going to abandon it and go someplace else where they're going to pay you. So that's a thing. And, and to me, I think app based games are, are a gimmick. Uh, they may have some, application for story-based games but for anything that's not story-based you know like you got what is it mansions of madness or something like that i think that uses mm -hmm. an app mm -hmm. but that's yeah. a self-contained story and it's all branched off and everything mm -hmm. so you can you can do that for something like that but again you should release that out into the public because i'm not talking about now i'm talking about 10 years from now 15 mm -hmm. years from now i can still go pick up a copy of tactics 2 that was yeah first published in what 58 i can open that box from the okay. original box and play yeah. it as yeah. is mm -hmm. you know whereas an app-based game oh i need to play this i need the app where's the app well if you can find an old you know <laughs> whatever yeah. uh, uh what do you call that tablet that is uh that'll run this you can you can get it maybe download it and then sideload it off of something you know off of your uh, off a website or something like that, or run it off a website. And it's like, well, will, it, will it run on your phone? Will it run? Yeah, on the, you know, exactly. So. And then you run it on your phone, and it's like, well, the screen's only this big. Whereas, yeah. oh, you can put it on your computer, but I can't bring my computer to my table. While well, I can bring my laptop, to, it takes you out of the game. You know, mm -hmm. too much of a headache. So, mm. yeah, yeah, I don't uh, think people have done app, app focused games have thought it through for the people. Yeah. But well, I, I was thinking think, about the immediate use. I can do it now. I can do it in a year from now, two years. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking 10, 15 years down the line. Right, right. I think <clears throat> app assisted games are okay as long as you also have the physical components so you don't yes. need the app. You know, the app just, hey, we're going to give you the app for free when you buy the game. You can download the app or whatever, make $10 or whatever they cost you. But we're still giving you all the parts so you can play the game. But all the app will do was, manage all your resources and keep you know save the game for you and do all that stuff you know play some know. music to play the game if yeah. you need to yeah play but some music it, to put you in the mood and all that sort of thing yeah yeah that's cool yeah. That, that's cool as a as a fun little addition to the game but, but still really play. yeah it's i want to be able to play the full game myself you know if you want to add atmospheric stuff to it that's fine you know that would be kind of cool like the initial idea with u-boat was to have it be sound 
sound sensitive. So that way, when you're playing, you had to be quiet when you played. You had to whisper to each other and things like that, just as if the uh, destroyer was overhead, uh, which I think is a really cool idea. That's cool. Yeah. But how can you attune the sensitivity to make it feel accurate? And then yeah. at the same time, how are you going to do that in a game store? You're going to have to turn that part off because oh, right. otherwise you're going to get hammered immediately because <laughs> other people are playing games. There right. are people buying oh, stuff. 15 destroyers coming towards you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, how did, all they, how did they know where we're at? Well, quiet look around that? you. <laughs> and those people playing snap in the corner, be quiet, please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody shut up. We're playing a quiet game. What the hell? Go to a library. But you as, know? as far as I know, no, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. As far as I know, war gaming companies aren't going down this app road. I like, you know, I know a lot of board games are, but not war games. Is that, is that, is that what you guys say um, is accurate? Uh, by apps. What do you mean? Apps? Like, like we we're talking about here where it's app yeah, yeah, yeah. driven like, or computer games. Back in no, I'm talking about apps. Right. I'm I know, I know there's an app for the, um, Mansions of Madness, mm -hmm. um, War of the Ring. You know, a few a few regular board games are using apps, but I don't. Yeah. As far as I know, the only app for war games are just is just U Boot, right? There's not other companies that are doing that yet. No, and and I wouldn't even and I don't classify U Boot as a war game. I it's oh, a, right, right. It's a you know so it doesn't fall into the war game category. It, it's a Euro. Uh, with with historical board game aspects to it mm -hmm. um, and there is definitely a distinction between a historical board game and a war game you know i know that there's there's that big huge discussion that a lot of people we've all had i think and we will probably have forever um distinction between war games and non-war games but uh and there's nothing wrong <laughs> jay <laughs> which one's not a war game you boat oh, come on it's the best war game ever <laughs> that's the best oh map. boy map of the year yeah yeah that's that's but yeah there's a, a definite distinction between war game and historical board game now i think historical board games would be uh there'd be more of a of an opportunity to use an app in that although you could use apps in war games but the apps would be mostly for calculating odds and things like that right right i think but then I you're putting the information into the app. <laughs> for having an app in a war game right because mm. You could have all like all your setup charts mm -hmm. as part of the app, right? So I need all the German counters for this scenario I'm playing. You click the little button on the app and it brings up every counter you need. Or, uh, you know, I'm calculating my odds. I have 36 attack and you have 22 defense or whatever. So then mm -hmm. you just click those buttons and boom, it tells you which column to roll on or whatever. Yeah, but the thing about that is, number one, like you were saying, for the setups, we already have those with player aids and setup charts that come with games. So it would kind of be redundant. And the other would be calculating odds. To do that, you'd have to actually move them on the table and then move them on the app. So you'd have to do double the work for it to be able to tell you what you had in a hex and what the odds were. And it would calculate everything, including your terrain modifiers, uh, any other modifiers that were being used like artillery air things like that to give you your final odds determination and then maybe even roll the dice for you which takes the whole fun out of it where everybody loves to chuck dice especially <laughs> gravity dice right? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gravity dice. and look up on the table and everything it's great yeah so i mean it, it, i can see i think if there's going to be apps in a war game i think it would be more they'd be better served by having tutorials than anything else it would be like, here's an example of play, and it could play mm. out for you in a video, whether it's mm. animated animation or if it was actually somebody shooting a video and, and playing it out for you and doing it in chunks or maybe even do the full thing. But I think that would be better off in an app aspect for a war game than anything yeah. else. Yeah, and I, mm. I think you're right. And the only one I've, I've come across, not quite an app, but was for Corsair Leader, where it will pick your mm. team for you randomly yeah that would I be love, cool love yeah. random stuff so instead of working through and working and working out what sort of squadron you've got you just click this app you say what what um what scenario you're doing what you're doing mm. how many turns click bang it will just random and you just find the cards that's fantastic mm -hmm. uh, 
It doesn't mm -hmm. do anything else. Just stop. It just gives you a random uh, squadron for, for Corsair Leader. I think it's brilliant. The other apps I use are not for war games. They're for things like folklore, which take care of all the bits you have to remember. Rather than writing it down and scribbling it out, it will sort that out. And the other one is one for... Um, uh, oh, cool. Shadows of Brimstone. Just a little app you have on your phone that will take care of everything that you... That, the, you know, a sort of admin stuff, mm -hmm. not uh, mm -hmm. working out. Mm -hmm. That's that. They're great. But John's got, you a think... lot. John's got a landline anyway, so he doesn't want to. <laughs> don't need him, John. Don't need him. Roll some dice. Look up on a blooming player. Eh? Yeah. Then John remembers um, party lines. Remember party lines, John? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh get my off, god! Get, yeah. off, get off this line, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having an Wouldn't intimate. I think there would be uh, a need for, especially you guys that play bigger games that last, you know, multiple days. Do you think there could be an app that we could, you know, you go to a con, you play a couple of days of this game and you want to save it, right? So you have an app where you tell what, you know, each hex, what, what, uh, what counters were in there. Yeah, it's called Vassal. It's, I've done it's it. for a camera. I've actually done it where I was well, at, you're a at a con or something. You don't have yeah. Vassal at a con. You bring your laptop mm -hmm. and you have Vassal on your laptop and you just load it up or you just write down where it's at. It's the or same you thing. You take a picture. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I, that only helps you with the top counter, dummy. What about I'll the six tell counters you what, that are so underneath that? I had, a gentleman, I had a you buddy over. Tell. Am, am I like actually talking? <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> we're ignoring you, Tony. I had, I had a buddy over. We started Normandy forty four. We got two turns or four turns in. He had to leave. I immediately, because he's from up in Michigan. I immediately wrote, had everything, wrote it down, put it into the vassal, hmm. and then we've continued to play it on va via vassal after that point. So vassal actually takes care of that. My issue with Vassal is I can't roll a freaking dice. I mean, I like to roll the dice. I like the the tactile yeah. part of our game. Mm. Um, Vassal is a great oh, option. Vassal. It's a great option for yeah. when you don't have somebody to play. But I love moving that counter. I love rolling those dice. I love, you know, that whole part is just. The way to do it for that would be to have your webcam up. So oh, we, when yeah. you're playing and then have another camera and yeah. point it to your, to your little dice thing and just yep. chuck your dice in there. So everybody, everybody sees what the I think I is. saw yeah. Stu do that a few times with, when he was playing ASL, he had, you know, his dice. dice. And yeah. I think he had, the other guy had their dice and they could just, you know, show so their dice. So you see what them. everybody's rolling there. Yeah. I mean, odds are people aren't going to cheat, but at the same time, you want to eliminate anybody from ever saying that. So you just have a camera right on your, on your that, dice track. That's the reason I don't like Vassal. It, it's the dice chugger in Vassal is crap. The purpose. Yeah. And I'm playing games with Tweez, you know, once a week. And, but I, I just, don't like it. You have to skim about and all that, and, you, and it's not the same as moving, not the same as throwing dice. I can't set up a, another webcam uh, because if he's hosting it and all that, it's awkward. But yeah, I, I can understand Vassal and Stigler loves it. I know he does, um, but uh, I, I, it, it's a necessary evil, I'm afraid, um, and I could do I could do without it. But mm. uh, you have to because you need to play people that you can't be sure. with and people from the other side of the planet. And it's great for that, I suppose. But yeah, it's oh, not, yeah. My, not my team. I put up with it so I can play the game. With people Tabletop like Simulator is a little bit better because you actually get to yeah. kind of see the dice going. And you, and you throw can, them. You click, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. can flip the table too. For yeah. hours. You can flip them for hours. You go, come on, throw them blooming dice. For goodness <laughs> yeah. sake. No, I'm having fun. You, you, you mean Jester like clicking the button like 500 times yeah, when yeah. they're in the air? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But well. I do like I do like Tabletop Simulator for that. I feel like that's more, that's closer to the real, real thing. Yes. Yeah. And also when you put the counters down, they actually kind of click. Yeah. And yeah. So there's a little bit, but man, is it like sensitive as all get out. Like you can't like do anything just you do it slightly off. It's not quite right. But yeah. I'll tell you what, for playtesting, it's been great because you can put a whole module on there. You know, I've been I haven't done it for a while and I need to get back to it. But Mr. President was I was able to play test with Mike for that. 
and that's yeah. like I, i've ordered that because of you guys it better be good is it coming out this year yeah I got it is it going is. on it's... i've got a clue i've got a clue oh, what's going let's, on I've ordered let's it. see here I yeah think, it's um... it's good gmt i'm looking it up right now it should it should be out this year. yeah it should I, be out i think it's it should be. your butter jelly's in the chat he'll know come on butter jelly let I us ordered it. i ordered it mike i haven't got a clue how final development it. your government works but i've ordered it because it's yours and it looks cool it looks does look cool and the other one um is is uh when's this coming out when's your one coming out is that coming out this year because it's on my list that one should be that one's getting ready to, be, to ship i think probably like in march or april uh, not, April, I guess. I think not, it not the. Uh, oh no, he's. Talk I think he's talking about Plum Island. No, not talking about uh, no. the American War one. He's the most like, uh, fearful Plum sacrifice. Island. Plum Island. I'm talking about. Oh, Plum Island. Oh, no. yeah. I have no Plum idea. No, yeah, yeah. We are finishing yeah. up everything in the next couple of months. At least that's what the plan is, and it's yep, all up to Gene, is. of course. At that point, of too. course, with this all uh, cues and things, and what's what's you know being clicked and all that sort of nonsense. Well, I think it's got like. 2600 2618 i just i just 2618 there you go so that was pretty close yeah you, um, yeah now I, I might need some help because i'm going to get it out on the table and video it i'm going to go now what's this all about you know it's, <laughs> how does your which, uh, which one Mr. How does your democracy work? Well, you <laughs> just you just learn just like you learned how the <laughs> army and the, and the corps and the brigade and the division and the battalion. Being, being so you get that whole parliamentary thing over there where people yell at each other, which is yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's good. We do like a bit of a shout match. Yeah. yeah. It's, good. it's like I'm watching WWE. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And, you know what? and that's why. And I say this, I think I said this before. You know, you've got the two sides of the house. Yeah. That is actually two sword lengths apart. Mm -hmm. So you can't go and you can't stab the other guy. Stab the other guy, <laughs> and that's that's why. But I've also ordered the uh, the prime minister one. Um, that, that's that's, that's on my list too. To, to yeah, order, but so. we don't know how to play that because I don't understand how that all. Yeah, works. You, see what, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no, that that that's good though. That's that's also a great educational tool. Yeah, so people I've can understand the different political it, systems uh, and all this sort of nonsense and yeah. So I actually, see how similar they are, yet different. I actually have set up a lesson plan for Mr. President. I've actually gone through and how I'm going to use it in my classroom when I teach government, specifically mm. when I teach the executive branch and how it interacts with all the rest of everything. So I've actually figured out how to do it as a group project because, yes, you're Mr. President, but the president has advisors. Mm -hmm. So it's a, if I think I remember, advisors. it's like a group of four or five. Mm -hmm. um, because in the game, so you're the president and then you have the vice president, secretary of state, secretary of defense, and there's one other one. Why can't I think of it? Like, okay, well, there you go. What, what chance have I got? But what a great learning tool for, for people like yourself. Yeah. It must be a great learning tool. Yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm excited about it because I think, I think kids are going to realize that they don't want to become president. <laughs> and I think well, you can break it down into groups. Anyways. You can have everybody that like SECDAF or whoever be a group of four or five students and let them argue to come up with yep. a decision to, the, to then pass up and then hey, the arguments, you, you know, let the you arguments go. continue on. Put it on the game. Put it on the game. Yeah, and see what happens. So they can yeah. see how how the decision making process is not as clear cut and you know dried as they think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So so I'm I, I've already That'll started developing that. That so yeah. what my plan is to put it up to give it to Mike and to Gene and say, Hey, here's a lesson plan. And this is what it covers in the state of Ohio, which we almost all have kind of the same standards across yeah. the country when it comes to government. And so here's a lesson plan that you can use. Then you mm. can put with the game and then, you know, heck we're get some more people. Hey, I've never heard mm -hmm. of GMT. Oh my God. They have all these, you know, so I'm trying to. And they're all the branching out. Other mm -hmm. type of games, aren't they? So they've got to, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. William, our prime minister is set in the Victorian era. So um, Jack the Ripper. Mm. Oh, nice. That'll be fun because of the Victorian era. I might be able to get yeah. Karen. to play. Oh, that. Yeah, I, I was going <laughs> to say that sounds way better than if it was modern day. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's uh, you know, it's Israeli and all that sort of nonsense. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Victorian. That's when we actually, there was legit 
lords and like commoners like, <laughs> like they don't yeah. intermix any now they kind of intermix back then they didn't intermix uh, it was like the house of lords was the house of lords but now they give this these titles to any hoi polloi now you know, yeah so. ruff's <laughs> even got a lord title he's like oh lord wow of the, yeah yeah lord ruff's of the a lord. <laughs> lord of the dance <laughs> Well, you are the official bard of the War Room. We saw you last show, right? Singing a birthday song. Oh, blimey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was fun. So that was yeah, good. that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Karen was was enthralled with that. She just didn't know. She didn't know how to react. She was so excited, <laughs> like she was so surprised, and she was like, "I didn't know it was awesome." She's like, "She, she, it was, it made her day." It well, really did. Calling me the musician, which I am, and uh, so I thought, "Oh, we'll just do it," you know. So it was good fun, you know. So uh, I'm glad she, I'm glad she enjoyed it. Yeah, she really did, and and it, it showed off your talents and skills. Yes. Well, like, I wasn't done for that. It was done done to for, for Karen's birthday, and uh, yeah. But we need to know what was the outcome of the fight with the red dragon afterwards, because I said, you guys get a plus four for your singing. So how did that combat turn out? He didn't, he didn't, he doesn't understand being the bard. No. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, well, yes, he sorry. should understand that. Like, he's that's like, like, he's like, I started out on D and D. I used to do D and D. It was a it was TPK. It was a TPK. You know when he said bard, I thought Shakespeare. So oh, thinking, oh, 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 yeah. No, well, sorry, the bard, the music, the singing. Yes, I get you now. You know, I get you. Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, that, I did. that joke went over like a fart in church. Wow. <laughs> Like a fart in a space suit. That, that was a, a show yeah. killer right there. Wow. Yeah, Mike's like crickets. Chirp, chirp. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm sorry. I got to yeah. get some sound effects. I got to get some sound effects for our show. That's for sure. I have got some. I have got some. But um, yeah. I'll, They're I'll, only for when Jester starts swearing. I've got the crickets. <laughs> I've got the tumbleweed as well. So. But yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Mo. I'm, I, I, yeah. Yes, the red dragon was uh, slain by the bard with a die roll of ten. Nice, nice. Wow. And you got a natural. Talking about 20. RPGs, Mo. Twilight yeah. two thousand. Oh, I've got that, and I've got uh, I've aliens. Got uh, no, are we going to be doing that? Are we going to sort out maybe? Maybe. Oh, you want to play too? Oh God, yeah, I've got it. Hell yeah, it looks Let's brilliant. Do it. Kev's getting into it as well. He's actually doing new scenarios. Kev, Gimpy, and me, we all have it. So get you, we'll have a fourth. We got to yeah, figure out when we can doing, start playing. Doing scenarios where it's not all doom and gloom. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but the doom and gloom is the whole fun of it. He wants a smiley, happy one. You it's know, not where like, it's where like not instead of firing bullets, they're firing love shots. And people yeah. make oh. people fall in love. We're meeting groups of people that want to kill you. You know, uh, I want death and, and destruction. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See that's that's the whole thing about about like aliens. What I think is kind of cool is the way they have it set up. You can do the structured campaign where you can kind of advance and go through the whole story, mm -hmm. and you may never run into a Zeno ever. You may just be dealing with like the corporates, you know, the corporations like Whalen Yutani and things like mm -hmm. that, because it's yeah. kind of a dirty world to begin with. Yeah. And then you can do the cinematics where you take a team of Marines in, for example, and you go against Zenos, knowing full well that everyone that plays the game in the cinematic is going to die. It's just <laughs> when you die and how you hey, die. How long you last. You know? Yeah, yeah I, I think Ooh. it's kind of cool so that we that get game, to game do game the best of both. Quiet. Is that made by the – who's that made by? Free League uh, Publishing. They the do both. Thing. Do you hmm. know they're doing – they're doing um, uh, the, the other one, the new – I've got to get a copy of that. Um, the Paris One Ring, the Lord of the Rings, they're doing no, that. No, no, no. Um, Ruta Hauger. I've seen many things. Oh, uh, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. To do They're Blade. doing that too? Yeah. Ooh. I'll go get that. Peter that says, Twilight 2000, going to the mall edition. Happy time version. That's what Ralph <laughs> wants to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you know, I like it. You know, well, you we know, have. Well, we it is have, set in the 80s, uh, you know, yeah. or it was originally built in the 80s. So, yeah. We yeah. have. A lot Three of boys. people that are making up for Chris. God bless him. Rest God bless him. Yeah. Yeah. But Chris Nemesis. is definitely like he's filtered his people out. His, yeah, his, his, out ridi his, his ridicule has it's gone out there. Comments. Yes. Which yes. which game were you guys talking about, Ro? Uh Twilight 2000. Twilight 2000. 
Oh, 12. Okay. Okay. And then Blade Runner, he brought up Blade Runner. They're, they're making Blade Runner as well. So, yeah. um, do androids dream of electric sheep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen many things. Oh, what a. He made that up on the spot, actually. I think. Really? Yeah. That wasn't in the script. He that whole that speech up. that he gave was was he, just. He, made, he, he wrote wow. that. Yeah. He wrote, well, that's oh, that's how he made it up. He wrote that. It wasn't in the script. Uh, Rucker yeah. Hour. I love Rucker yeah. Hour. He was great. Yeah. You ever seen Nighthawks? No. I was, mm. What's the oh. one where he's. Um, like, he was the terrorist and Stallone was the cop. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a really good movie. Yeah, that was a way great. better movie than you'd think it would be. Yeah. Right. yeah. Because of Ruta Hauer. Ruta Hauer. What a yes. great villain. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Well, we're going to start winding up here. Um, winding, up or winding down. Really? Winding, winding up. up. Yeah. That's yeah. That's winding that's winding that's up that's to that's wind down. So I appreciate Mo jumping in to surprise everyone for a little visit. So it's been a little yeah, while. Yeah, we didn't even know on. about it, Mo. It was just like all of a sudden you just <laughs> popped in. I didn't know about it until I'm sitting here watching the show and I get a pop up on my phone. Hey, why don't you join? Oh, okay. Let me. Yeah. Let me pretty. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. it. No, yeah. it's fun. That it's was fun. great. That yeah, was a lot fun. of fun. Good to see you again. Good to hear from you. Uh, mm -hmm. We always love having you on. And yeah, yesterday. Figured this time, you know, you can actually talk to everyone. So. Do all well, everybody's on. Yeah, absolutely. I love love coming <laughs> on. It's a great show, and I uh, love to, uh, interacting with everybody in the audience. Uh, great crowd here today, as always. Yeah, yeah. good fun. Yeah, they're a good crowd. What, aren't they? um, what's mm -hmm. everybody got going on this week? Now, Mo, you have your show on Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, we got uh, Whiskey Charlie on Tuesday night, and then I've got a. A couple of looks at a couple of different games. Might be looking at uh, let's see, Battle for Stalingrad is one that uh, we're going to take a look at from Excalibur, and then uh, War in the Wind from Compass Games. Ooh. Mm. What do you guys got? Depends who he asks next. Uh, Tony, who you got coming up on your channel there? <sighs> I have no idea. I don't know. It's been I'm hoping weird. to get something. <laughs> Depending on depending on how loud it is, the yeah, working. yeah. There's, yeah. It's we're 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 in the final stretch. I have countertops coming Tuesday and appliances coming Friday, so we're getting to the final stretch. Um, I doubt mm. much sawing is going to happen much anymore. So mm. um, there's not going to be too much more of that, and hopefully that's done before I get home. So now it's just can I get started before the daughter gets home and gets on Genshin Impact. Because she like my computer is right there. She has to use my computer because it's the highest level one. So my computer's right there, and my videoing's like right there. And she's mm -hmm. a very loud gamer. That's the best uh, way I can describe it. She gets boisterous. Yes, now you're boisterous. Um, enthusiastic. Isn't next week uh, spring break for you guys? No, I don't have spring break until uh, Easter in April. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so we have spring break next week here in Florida. Oh, so. yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the the kids have spring break not next week, but the week after. It's like the last mm. week of April or, or August into the first of April. Yeah, because April from my later school, this year, isn't it? April, yeah. uh, Easter's late. April Easter's later this year, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 yeah, Easter is actually on my birthday this year. It's oh, mm. that's right. You have the same birthday as my kids, as my boys. Right, April seventeenth. Right? right. Yep. Yep, yes, I remember nice. that. Yeah, so the boys turned ten that day. So um, I turned twenty-seven. Yep, I believe that. <laughs> that Ruff, what's, your, Ruff, what's going on with your stuff? Are you gonna? You think Panzer a little bit? Maybe I, think? I, I want. Yes, we're gonna do a bit more Warfighter. But then I want because I had to stop Panzer because it's. People were going, Ralph, it's set in Ukraine eight years ago. I'm going, okay. Um, so I may start that up again because I just want to – it's great. I love it. And um, and if MBT is anything like that, then I'm going to love that as well. So we'll do a bit of um, Warfighter and then hopefully uh, do a bit of Panzer. But I need – because they were kind enough to send me a copy, I need to sort out a playthrough of mm. Doves. Um, which looks really cool. A uh, few unboxings, as you saw earlier, so those will be on the channel as well. Not sure what we're doing Wednesday with Tweez, um, but I'll, that possibly something's happening in live stream uh, on Wednesday as well. Did you then, finish uh, the Red Storm scenario? No, we had to. We again paused it because people were going. It's a bit soon, 
no, it's it's 1987. But anyway, yeah, um, we just just to appease and, uh, and not upset people. Right. Um, yeah. We stopped that. We played. I, I hate to say this, but I think it's kind of past it now. Good, and uh, I, I do. You know, my, the games I play that are set 80 years ago or in 1987 in no way reflect what we think of the. No, of the it's not. It's a what if it didn't even happen. Yeah. So. And, uh, it's a game. And yeah, so let's get back and enjoy it. And God bless those guys over there. And uh, let's uh, hope that finishes well for, for, for everyone. So, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So there might be a bit of stuff on Wednesday live stream with Tweez. Might get back to Red Storm. Well, it's kind of like, you know, spinning off what you just said real briefly. <clears throat> it's something that we're going to probably talk about on Whiskey Charlie Tuesday. Is people now, it's kind of cracking me up. War gamers should know better. But there are people now that are complaining about the hypothetical World War Three games saying, hey, you know, uh, those those uh, Russian numbers need to be looked at again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Different yeah. time. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are no, no, it's happening. Me? Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. They are. It's big. It is big. Doctrines I've been reading are different. It. Equipment's different. People uh, are different. Mental, you know. mental attitude was yeah. different as well. Yeah. You know. So. so it, yes. Um, <laughs> as, as you told me to say, uh, Mo, suck it up, Buttercup. So, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Do you ever uh, play Panzer? Um, no, I've not played Panzer. Panzer. I have NBT and I want to play that. I, I need to play that. I've just never got Oh, that's another one you did the unboxing and then put it on the shelf. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I've I've I don't I don't think I ever did an unboxing of that, but it's one of those ones that I'm gonna play if I don't play prior to the con, I'm gonna play at the con because Kevin oh. and I have talked about playing that. Uh, yeah. because that that's Good the one game of all games I should have played. I just yeah, never Mr. got around to it yet. <laughs> when, yeah, when, is the, uh, yeah. when is the con? In May. May twelfth. I think 12th to the 15th or something like that. Let me look at my calendar real quick here. It is going to be, yeah, 12th to the 15th, May. Okay. If you want to uh, send me send me the info, then we can let sure. people know about it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once you're once you're done with the con, like the next week or two yeah. after that, we'd love to have you on and sure. talk to you about what happened on the con and what you played. And Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely do that. Okay, yeah. cool. 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 Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Yes, that's going to be about a wrap for this week. A great time with everyone as usual. So thanks, everyone, for coming out. Great comments from everyone. So I love you guys in the chat. Yeah. We, uh, you know, I didn't post everyone's comments, but, you know, uh, we've been watching everyone, and we enjoy every having everyone out. So be sure to come out and watch Mo and Whiskey Charlie on Tuesday at 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock Eastern. Yeah. Yeah, 8 o'clock Eastern, right, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing if uh, Tony and Ruff can get some good games out this week. I don't know what my schedule is going to be like this week, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing, um, but we'll be back here next week. Same time, same channel. All right. Um, any masked words of wisdom for anybody out there? Wisdom? From us? <laughs> With war games, would you <laughs> No, okay. just, just roll them play dice. More, and, play more games. Roll yeah. dice. I don't know. I can't think of all the, all the you know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I need to find some better co-hosts. See everybody next week. See Bye. See you guys next week. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs>